Hey y'all, it's Christy from Tea Doddles. I'm back. <laughs> I haven't done a video in quite a while, but um, I wanted to go ahead and do one today uh, before the week got away from me. There probably will be one tomorrow um, because I'm going to talk about my, my costume over here. I'm going to have to tilt this down some to be able to see it. Um, but I, I missed y'all. <laughs> I've been really busy. I've had a very busy few weeks. Um, I have more coming up and everything, but uh, I just want to touch base with y'all and let y'all know I am still here. I do plan on still doing videos. Um, I'm just working around some, some other things right now. Not bad things, good things. So, uh, that's where I've been. I got me some coffee today. My little Nomi Nom cup. My, uh, my dad got me that because it's Thursday and I can have coffee later because I don't have to get up and go to the school in the morning. So, it's first I'd like to say welcome new subscribers and welcome back subscribers. I'm happy to have you here with me and my maker shenanigans. I do like to do the sewing things, the yarny things, and the DIY things. So you'll see a little bit of all of that here on this channel. If you like to make things, you might like it here. So, I did start this semester going between the college and the high school, which has proven to take more energy out of me than I expected. Um, <laughs> I did that. It's been two years since I've done that. Uh, so I had gotten used to just being at one school. So there's a lot of back and forth and time management. and It's a little bit later than I'm usually off and those kind of things. And since I'm in town, a lot of times I've got things I got to do in town before I come home. Uh, one thing or another here lately. So, just been a very busy October. Um, I have uh, been working on some new bags for the shop. I don't have too many in there. I was hoping to get more Halloween bags in there because I've got Halloween fabric over here. It really needs to be used, but it's getting too close to that. So, there'll be a couple kind of Halloweenish things. Uh, I hope to have them up in the shop tomorrow so you can get them before Halloween, depending on where you live at. So, I'm just going to share those with you right quick. Now these, I've got to put the drawstrings down still, but these are mini maker bags. Um, it's supposed to look like, it's paint splatter, but to me it looks kind of like blood splatter. It just has like antique looking typed letters on the inside. And now these will come with these little charms. If I can get it to be still. There we go. There you go. Yeah. Now, originally, these were supposed to be giveaways in my uh, Cozy Murder Mystery Cow, but I didn't continue with that this year because nobody was participating. I've decided I'm not going to do it again. I really don't have time for those kind of things right now. Um, so, I'm, I'm just not going to continue with them. I'm going to be doing things a little different. So, <laughs> um, so that is going to be in the shop. I have... 10 or 12 of them. I think I have 12 of them. Um, now, I have these bags. I just got to put the top stitch on them, and these will be ready to take pictures of. There's a lot of totes. Let me get it unfolded so you might see that it looks like a tote. Oh, this has got a little farmhouse stuff on it. Not really Halloween, but kind of fall to me. Um, let's see how this chicken fabric uh, and pocket in it. I have two of these. Have slightly different prints on the outside. I have this, which is more fall to me as well. This, it's got a little deer print, and it's got this. This is a satin cotton, which makes it feel satiny. And I have this on the inside. And this all came from the same little, uh, we can get charm square packs. So, and I don't remember which one it was. So, don't ask me that. I've had it for a long time. This one's in purples. Purples and kind of pinks. I haven't put the lint brush on these yet. So, ignore that part. I did do some a little bit fancier stitching on these. Um, instead of just your standard stitching. Like I said, I've got to do that stitch around the top still. That's what this one looks like on the inside. And I got one more from that line of prints. It's in this funky, funky yellows and oranges. 
very faux like vintagey kind of prints on the inside because this very much reminds me of the 70s or the 60s however you want to go about it so I will have some now this print is these are bigger bags I just cut out for a while this has a mother goose tails print from J.R. J.W. J.R. Wecker I'm not completely sure but so this print was big so I didn't want to do small bags with it so these are all big bags but they have uh, mother goose tails on them and kind of a funky look to them so I have two that have that are all the way to the bottom like this and they'll have this kind of bone lining it's about to put the pockets in those still and I have one or I have two or three like this with the purple velveteen on the bottom so and those will have this orange and black kitty cat lining that just blows out the camera doesn't it all right so all of that something I'll be finishing up I should I'm hoping I'm aiming to have all of that in the shop by tomorrow evening early Saturday because I've got stuff going on Saturday so and Sunday now I want to talk a little bit about I'll talk about my costume last because I'm gonna have to move the camera down so you can see it all or pick this thing up or something I don't know it's I thought you'd be able to see it better but it doesn't go up any higher than this so I can't do that um, uh, first I want to talk about this jacket <laughs> I've had this jacket for a really long time it was a favorite jacket of mine but you see it's peeling this is that faux leather stuff I just liked the style of the jacket you see I like the style of it but it is it is really it's peeling it's starting to peel everywhere and I debated and debated what I wanted to do with it because I thought well maybe I could peel all the stuff off and do something with it it's kind of thin though I don't know how that would look so what I decided to do is I'm going to take it apart and make pattern pieces and make me a new jacket so that's going to be upcoming series on here uh, how to take this apart and make pattern pieces so that I can make me a new one um, I don't know if I'll do it in this I'll probably pick I don't know we'll see I'm just gonna make a pattern out of it and I'll see what I want to how I want to make it you can I could do different things than than faux leather I don't want to work with real leather because that is very tough on well you can buy stuff that's not tough but anyway this is an upcoming series on on here so it'll be a tutorial and how to take apart something to make a new pattern for it and then putting it back together and see how it works because I'll probably reuse I'm gonna try to reuse the zipper and the buttons that are on it so uh, I hope y'all enjoy me y'all will join me for that I think it'll be fun uh, I'll still be doing some sewing tutorials um, I've got to work on some of those still uh, Right now, I'm working on this costume. This costume is something I made a long time ago. It's actually uh, it's this shirt. Uh, you can see it's kind of got the flowy. It's like a pirate shirt. I actually made this shirt for my son a long time ago for his uh, for a costume he wanted. Um, but I took it over for my costume a few years ago for steampunk, and. Uh, I'm, I've got to do some alterations to this for one thing I I need to sew this up a bit it's a little low for me um, or alternatively I could find something to wear under it that looked appropriate um, but I did make this shirt I also made the corset let's see if I can move it closer so y'all can see it better hey, no that doesn't work if I move it farther away here I'm gonna tilt this down you're not gonna be able to see my face but that's okay right there we go that's better now I made this corset um, it has straps the straps are you can see they're kind of wearing out a little bit the straps are real leather the corset is a uh, pleather much like that jacket I just showed you and I confiscated these uh, overall hooks from something I don't remember what <laughs> but they're recycled um, this is lined with this I say this. You know what? Maybe I should have taken it off. I don't know. 
but it's lined with this brocade, this fun brocade. So technically I could reverse this if I wanted to, it'd be a different sort of look. Um, plus these would hook to the inside, but um, I don't remember what pattern I used. Maybe I can dig it up if I can find it. But on the back, it is a corset. I'll turn this around. You gotta find. So I wanna see if I can do something to fix these kind of rough and it's bent where I had it pulled through the strap and stuff and then this I don't think this is gonna be long enough as I have put on some weight since I last made this but it does fit so um but this corset has a, a pocket in the back you can see um, this was a fun little make I don't have boning in this because since this pleather is a little more structured it, it cinches up really nice. I will be uh, sharing a picture of me in the costume with y'all <coughs> later on. I have a Halloween party my parents are throwing this weekend. So on the back of this, we have these little ruffles. You can see, let me move my leg out of the way. There. Let's see if we can tilt this down a little bit more. Well, you don't see my table, but it has ruffles. I made out of just random, this is corduroy. This is some random, this is left over from a coat I made. And then I have this kind of, it's not wool, but it feels wool-like for the skirt and it just flows down. I'm thinking about adding some more rufflies. I don't know for sure, but I wanted to add some more, there it goes, now it's falling. Um, I thought about adding some stuff to the front. I don't know yet, depends on how my time goes. But I definitely want to fix this. I want to do something about these. Because these were kind of just something I did. I was trying to hurry up. I was always trying to finish stuff. <laughs> for me. Because I had to sew other people's costumes usually. Uh, for my niece and nephew and my son. Um, but this is kind of peely. And I'm I'm thinking I'm going to just. Take it off. And maybe, maybe do like some gold. Uh brushed paint on it to just kind of make it look aged instead of just falling apart and I have some pins and brooches I want to put on it so uh, but if anybody would like me to do a tutorial about sewing something like this please let me know I enjoy sewing costumes I find it quite fun let me move my hold on Okay, sorry. I had a tickle in my throat. <laughs> I don't want to be coughing and choking on camera. So, <clears throat> what's fun about costumes to me is that sometimes you find different uh, things you have to sew, like sewing the shirt and everything. It's just made out of a basic cotton fabric. Um, I think it's a muslin, actually, a, a bleached muslin. So, um, it can help you learn new sewing techniques too. That's what I always found fun about making costumes because my son, he would have ideas about what costumes he wanted and I've had to uh, make alter patterns before to make it look like what he wanted. So if I find any of those, I'll pull them out for next time. But uh, tomorrow I hope to have this uh, finished and maybe do another video. It may not come out till Saturday morning. Um, but tomorrow we're going to be sewing and finishing up things. So uh, uh, I'll be sharing that with y'all. And I'll share a picture of me in the costume when I have it all finished. Um, I hope everybody's been having a fabulous October. I have. I celebrated my birthday this year. Or this year. I celebrated it every year. I celebrated it <laughs> in October. My birthday's in October. Um, I turned 46. So... Uh, not necessarily a milestone birthday, but it's been one of the best birthdays I've had in a very long time. I had a, a great time, uh, and I very much appreciate all my friends and family making it extra special. So, um, I think that was all I wanted to talk to y'all about right this moment. Oh, I also would like to say, and I'm probably going to have to put this out when I show pictures of my bags, but if anybody has a special request, request for a bag, before the holidays, I'm going to take orders up until probably the week of Thanksgiving. Or, yeah, till the end of November. I think I can do it to the end of November. Well, we'll say the week of Thanksgiving right now because I know that 
I can only take so many and if uh, I gotta have time to finish it and get it to you before Christmas so I think I can do it to the end of November and be okay but I gotta check on those dates but I am taking those um, if you see this and you need a if you have a special request for a bag let me know um, and I'll be advertising that through my Facebook page and stuff this weekend so I, like I said I can only take so many but I figured I'd put that out there for people um, uh, so if you, you've got somebody you want a Christmas gift for and you got some kind of special thing you want it to be just let me know I can help you out with that so uh, I hope everybody has ha had a, a had a fabulous October so far and I I hope y'all have been doing great and I will see y'all in the next video so y'all remember to have a life lived creatively bye